Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we're talking about the number one reason why everyone isn't profitable as fast as they'd like to be. And we're going to dive right into the video. But before we do, hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. I really do appreciate all your support lately. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week fo focusing on helping you become a consistently profitable futures trader. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the video. Number one piece missing is risk management. And that means sticking to your stop loss, sticking to your take profit, not taking profit too early, uh, not stopping out too early or not moving your stop farther than you should be or not having a stop loss altogether. These are all things that will delay every trader's profitability. You'll you know, make a lot of money at one month, you'll give it all back in one or two trades the next month. Um, happened to me, happened to plenty of traders that I've talked to. Uh, me personally, I was I was profitable um, just after the first year of trading, would have been profitable, but I spent a whole year and a half uh, basically making money for three months and then giving back all the profits back in two trades. Um, I repeated this process for literally a year and a half. I wouldn't have a hard stop on. It was a mental stop. So it was like, you know, I got to close the position manually if price hits a certain level. And that was mistake number one, having a manual stop loss, not a hard stop loss set. So that's the biggest mistake. Uh, but the second mistake was, let's say it wasn't a long and it flushed like super fast through my mental stop loss and I gave it some time then it was way too far from what my stop loss should have been. So then I gave it more time uh, and then I let it turn into a swing trade. And instead of it being a day trade, it was a swing trade and I'm holding this drawdown and it's going against me for a few days until the loss becomes so big that I have to close it and I mentally can't take it anymore. And that's basically what happened to me for a year and a half. But it wouldn't happen all the time, of course, right? Like I'd be sticking to my rules, but then the one time that I didn't stick to my rules, uh, I would let it go so big that it gave back all the profits. And that's all it takes. All it takes is one time to wipe you out as a, pro as a, as a trader. So that's why discipline is the most important thing. I talk about this in every video. Uh, the more discipline you are in your personal life and every other aspect, then the more discipline you'll be in trading. Um, and you just, we just have to build that discipline. But to combat that, what worked for me was always, no matter what, when I click the button to enter, there is automatically a stop loss and a take profit on my position. Ever since doing that one thing, I have had no problem with closing my positions with my stop loss. The only times I've ever had a problem is if I enter a trade without that automatic stop loss and the automatic take profit on the screen, because like, I, I don't know about you, but like I'm a, I'm a disciplined person in general. So when I get in a trade, if I get in a trade and there's a stop loss on there, I'm not clicking X to like remove the stop loss. Like the stop loss is there. I'm letting it, I'm just like, that's the stop loss. Um, so, but the issue was if I got in a trade and then it rapidly went against me before I could put the stop loss on, uh, or if I just, you know, had a manual stop loss, and then I could start to say, oh, well, you know, I could convince myself that, oh, well, you know, it's probably gonna turn around because of this and looking at all these other things, using confirmation bias to hold a, hold a losing trade longer or even adding to a position. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. The biggest thing is making sure you're not adding to losers, making sure that you have a set stop loss, making sure you don't move that stop loss uh, farther away. Um, you can obviously trail the stop loss up if you need to, if that's part of your strategy, but never, never get in a trade without a set stop loss. That is, all risk management 101. If you just have the stop loss on the screen already set as you enter the position, you're gonna be profitable far faster than you could ever imagine. Uh, take it from me, take it from someone who struggled with this actually for, you know, like I said, a year and a half, and I've had other traders struggle with this as well. So if you're not doing that, then highly suggest you do that. And I'm gonna show you how, you know, you can do it on TradingView or you can do it on NinjaTrader, right? If you do go on TradingView, what you can do is you can scroll up if your account is with TradingView, uh, I'm just going to click to log into the paper trading one. But if you log into account and you trade with TradingView, then what you can do is go down. Let's say I'm on the five minute chart and I'm going to press trade down here at the bottom. This is going to open up a panel and you'll see the order right here. Uh, what I do is I check the take profit. I check the stop loss and it's in ticks and you know, four ticks is one point. So if you do 40 ticks, that's 10 points. If you do 80 ticks, that's going to be 20 points. Take profit is 80 ticks, which is 20 points. And that's why the, the take profit is $400. And the stop loss, same thing, $400, right? Once those are checked, you're good to go. So then as soon as you click buy on the screen, boom, it placed the limit buy, it placed a stop loss and it placed the uh, take profit. So now it's on your screen. If you're in the position, boom, you're in the position and you can set and forget. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, you're not gonna be dragging this down lower, right? Whatever your stop loss is, your stop loss is. 
Uh, if you do want to ever mod drag, uh, modify it, then you just drag it down and click modify. Uh, but like I said, that is the biggest reason why traders take far longer to be consistently profitable. It's not the poor strategy. Um, you know, it could be discipline, but this goes in with discipline. Like if you're, if, and if you are a disciplined person, then a simple fix is just to make sure that the stop loss is on there. So if you're not doing that, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you do it on whatever you're trading. If it's trading view, trade of eight, Ninja Trader. Uh, personally, with me, Ninja Trader, I don't even have to do any of this. Um, I have an automatic ATM setup that when I buy or if I short, boom, it's it's on the screen and I can see my take profit, I can see my stop loss, and all I do is I set and I forget. And that is the key to profitability. It's risk management over time and not sizing up to losers and making sure that you're out of the trade when you're supposed to be out of the trade. That's that's what takes us seriously out and that gives us all the psychological damage. Uh, and you'll notice that over time, like, you know, the reason why we have any crazy psychological damage is, is not from the paper cut losses. It's not from taking, you know, a lot of $100 losses or a lot of $200 losses. It's the trade that we let go against us so massively or we just sized up so hugely. So, you know, you're, you're either sizing up far too heavy or you're having a no stop loss at all or far too big of a stop loss that's going to cause all of your pain as a trader if you can just eliminate those two things not over risking and meaning oversizing or adding to losers and then having a stop loss in place you're going to reduce all of your psychological damage and, and really be uh, far more consistent like at least you'll be break even as a trader uh, very fast it won't take very long as right? long as you have a strategy you know i'm sure it, we always put the time in to develop our strategies, but we don't put the time in to follow our risk management. And that's what this video is all about. I just want to stress the importance of risk management. We're never going to be profitable if we're letting these trades run against us so massively and giving back months of profit in one trade. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you struggle with most as a, as a trader trying to become profitable? Is it you know over trading? Is it over risking and not having a stop loss? Uh, you know, Poor strategy, not inconsistent strategy, undisciplined? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.